Let me show you really quick how to solve this problem with those accented E's if they're not working for you. And this is a difficult one to troubleshoot because for a lot of people, they've just had this setting done on their computer for so long, they've forgotten about how they got this working to begin with. So here's what you want to do. And uh, in schools, a lot of times you're not going to have access to the control panel, which makes this very frustrating. But what you want to do is in Windows, you're going to go to settings and then you're going to want to find this time and language option. And if you have an earlier version of Windows, you can just look this up. What you need to do is set the international keyboard. So you go here to region and language and here where it says English, and this is tricky, this is where it gets a little confusing. You need to click on the existing keyboard that's in there and choose options. Uh, this is on Windows 10. So earlier versions, I'm not positive. But what you want to do is go here and you want this United States International. Just add that. And then you'll see, you see this little guy that popped up down there? That's the magic. That's what we need right there. So you change it to this English International. And then this is a tricky one. If you hold Alt E, it still opens the menu. If you use the left side of the keyboard, Alt. If you use the Alt on the right side of the keyboard and do Alt E, it puts it in there. If you do Shift Alt E, it does it capital with the accents. So that's the trick is to bring up that English international keyboard. This is just the quick version on how to solve this, but this can be a challenging one to solve. I encourage you to watch the other video uh, that's right next to the link where you found this one and look up kind of how I went through the troubleshooting part because that's a much more important lesson than just learning how to do this part. Uh, the other thing that you can do, because in a lot of schools, you're not going to be able to get to the control panel to add that language. So the other option is that you can go to the Windows menu and choose uh, Type and Tables, then Glyphs, and then you can just kind of scroll down. Uh, and not every font supports them. But you just kind of need to go down until you find this guy right there. And you double click and it pops it in there. All right. So that's all there is to it. Really pretty simple to get around once you know the trick. But finding that trick, man, that can be a bugger. Take it easy, guys.